When we were coming to Northanger Abbey, you said that the house held secrets. Did I? And have you discovered any dreadful revelations yet? No, but I'd like to know what you meant. I think that shall have to remain a secret. A secret once explained loses all of its charms and all of its danger, too. Why don't you imagine the worst thing you can and write your own gothic romance about it? Northanger Abbey would make a very good title, don't you think? Now you're mocking me. But I can't help feeling that this house is not a happy one. Not since our mother died. And even before then. I envy you your happy childhood. My brother Frederick is well enough, I think, sowing his wild oats, but soon he shall have to make an advantageous match. My sister is not happy. Remember the man we met on our country walk? He's a good friend of mine. He's a lot more than that to my sister. But our father has refused to sanction the match. Edward is only a second son, and Eleanor must marry the heir to a rich estate. And, and you? Well, if I'm to retain my father's favour, I must marry a fortune too. And shall you? I always hoped I'd be lucky. The girl I fell in love with would come with a fortune attached. And if she should not? Then that would be a very stern test of my character. Perhaps we'd better head back. I want to set off for Woodson before nightfall. 